What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla's latest battery product, the Mega Pack. This is designed for grid scale utility storage. In a blog post last night, Tesla announced its latest Mega Pack project, an evolution of its battery storage line that was announced in 2015. In this episode, I want to do a brief update on what the Mega Pack is, what is this new product Tesla is launching, and then how does this play into the overall energy storage part of the business and overall energy business that I think has gotten almost no attention for Tesla was a huge bright spot on the Q2 earnings release and it is going to be a huge avenue for growth going forward. So we're going to dive into all of that. Let's talk about the Mega Pack. So what is this new device? Essentially, it's a huge battery, a massive battery. That's all it is. The idea for this project was based off of that less than two years ago, Tesla built and installed the world's largest lithium ion battery in Hornsdale, South Australia, using the Tesla Power Pack. And since then, the facility saved nearly 40 million dollars in in the first year alone and helped stabilize the grid and reduce blackouts this was a huge success you can read all sorts of press about how happy the australian government was with this project i mean a little history for you this project started on twitter as like a challenge where elon musk said we can build this in 100 days for you know this certain price of course tesla q and all the skeptics were like elon musk with crazy battery promise you know what is he doing he's not going to make any money on it well they did it they installed it and it saved, it saved them a ton of money it's transforming the grid instead of having a super dirty and costly peaker plant. They're having a renewable battery, so it's cleaner, it's cheaper, it's way faster responding. I mean, it's been a huge success, validated this mega battery technology, and out of that project is now spinning out this entire mega pack power line. So even though they may have not made money on that exact battery in Australia, it validated the technology. It was a stepping stone to where we're at today, which is incredibly exciting. And so now um, they're introducing a new battery product specifically for utility scale projects, the mega pack design designed by that project. Um, the Mega Pack significantly reduces the complexity of large-scale battery storage and provides an easy installation and connection, connection process. Each Mega Pack comes fully assembled from the Gigafactory with up to 3 megawatt hours of storage, 1.5 megawatts of inverter capacity, and building on the Power Pack's engineering with an AC interface and a 60% increase in energy density to achieve significant cost and time savings compared to other battery systems and traditional fossil fuel power plants. Uh, using Mega Pack, Tesla can deploy an emissions free 250 megawatt one gigawatt hour power plant in less than three months on a three acre footprint four times faster than a traditional fossil fuel fossil fuel power plant of that size. Megapack can also be DC connected directly to solar creating seamless renewable energy plants. And they're already installing the first iteration or version of the Mega Pack in this Moss Landing project in California with PG&E. And the Mega Pack will act as a sustainable alternative to natural gas peaker power plants. So diving into this a little bit more, um, you know, at the shareholder meeting, I just had this very powerful moment of Drew, who is now stepping into the sort of CTO-esque role after J.B. Straubel is leaving, uh, was threw in this comment that, okay, yes, we're so excited we validated the electric car business, but what's not getting enough attention is that Tesla's battery technology has been validated at the utility grid scale level with these peaker power plants. That's what the Hornsdale battery did. And so that's a huge market that you may not think about because we never see it or use it. But you know, everything that in the world, the grid runs on energy, our needs for energy vary greatly during the day. And so the grid is always outputting this constant level of energy. And so let's say during a day where it's super hot, everyone decides to turn on their air AC, we need to you know, increase the amount of electricity going into the grid to meet all these consumer demands. How do they do that? These things called peaker plants. And so these peaker plants aren't utilized all the time just when we need extra energy, but they're super dirty to come online. They're super inefficient and they're super costly. And so batteries, as they get cheaper, are going to start displacing different levels of utility scale storage one step at a time. And the first thing they're disrupting because it's the most inefficient, least used, most uh, costly is the peaker power plants. And so this is just a stepping stone to, uh, to disrupting the entire grid, but they're starting with the most expensive part. Sam Core of Arc Research, who I actually had on the Hyper Chat podcast talking about this a couple weeks ago, has a really interesting note. I'm going to put a link to in the description saying the addressable market for utility energy storage could scale to 800 billion in the next five or 10 years. He says that there could... Uh, 
Tesla could generate roughly 10 billion a year. Or there's that type of opportunity just from repa- replacing peaker plants. So this peaker plant opportunity alone is a multi-billion dollar business. And they have this amazing chart that I love that shows how the bottom, uh, you know, good chunk, an $83 billion addressable market for energy storage of peaker plants is only utilized less than 25% of the time. So these peaker plants with super low utilization are going to be the first to get disrupted by this thing, uh, by this uh, product called the Mega Pack. And not only is it about cost, but it's about ease and speed of installation. So the Mega Pack is essentially cramming in all of these power packs into one device that's basically, you know, economies of scale to make the footprint of that battery, if it's designed for huge projects, much smaller. This really cool graphic that Tesla has on their website sort of uh, shows how that occurs. And so, um, you know, at a super high level, I love what Tesla is doing here. They're iterating. I mean, the, the product line lineup of batteries here now has gone from the power wall, residential solar to the power pack for a little bit bigger to now the mega pack for getting really into this grid scale storage market, which is huge and untapped. And so now let's move into what the actual numbers look like for Tesla's battery business today. So we're looking at, this is battery uh, deployments, quarterly energy storage deployed in megawatt hours. As you can see, going up into the right, huge quarter in Q2 2019, 450 megawatt hours. The Q1 2018 included that massive Australia project. And so it had a huge bump. And that's why um, that quarter, you know, stood out so much. Even with that quarter, though, uh, Tesla has been able to grow battery deployments in tw- the first half of 2019 from first half of 2018 to about 644 megawatt hours. Um, this is what I'm expecting for, through 2020 for battery deployments. They've said it, they want to about double this year. They did about a gigawatt hour last year, 1,040 megawatt hours. So I'm projecting 2,100 megawatt hours and then doubling again in 2020 to 4,200 megawatt hours. So, but now you might be asking, how does that translate to revenue? So here is Tesla's energy revenue line. Uh, per quarter, as you can see, it's sort of stalled out since that Q1 2018, that huge battery installation. And what's going on here, why I think nobody's excited about the energy business, even though they should be, is because there's two divergent trends. And although the battery business has been exploding, like I showed, what's been shrinking is the solar installation. So since they acquired Solar City, this business has been shrinking every single quarter. The big reason behind these solar installation shrinking has been a switch from a leasing to a cash sales model, which is very different from the rest of the industry, which is why Tesla's market share has been lagging. But they're focusing on higher quality sales where they get the cash up front to improve their financials. So that's part of what's going on. The second thing that's going on is Tesla's had R&D on an epic new solar product they've yet to launch, the solar roof. And so when the solar roof takes off, I think we're going to start to see a reversal of these solar installations as Tesla focuses on that part of the business. And we did get a lot of clues about the solar roof recently. On June 13th, it was reported that Tesla was uh, initially testing V3 of its solar roof technology, and Elon Musk was tweeting about it, getting excited. Um, They mentioned at the shareholder meeting, you know, they keep hyping up the solar roof is about to be ready. Well, just a couple days ago, in replying to this mega pack tweet, um, Ryan McCaffrey, uh, an awesome podcast host of a Tesla podcast called Ride the Lightning, says, how's solar roof tile progress going? You were working on a new version, V3 of that, right? Elon replies, I guess it was yesterday, actually, spooling up production line rapidly, hoping to manufacture a thousand solar roofs per week by the end of this year. Wait, a thousand solar roofs per week. If we assume $20,000 per solar roof, even though it's going to be way more than that, that's 20 million per week in revenue or about a billion dollars per year in annualized revenue from about a thousand solar roofs per week. And so this is huge, huge guidance and leak here. I mean, Elon Musk has been hinting at the solar roof expansion for so long. And now it finally looks like towards the end of this year, this could actually start happening and ramping up. Remember, it's an Elon target, so take it with a grain of salt. But this is really, really exciting. Back to the solar installations chart, I think if those quarterly, uh, you know, if the solar roof starts to ramp later this year, this is going to start to reverse, and then that could start to drive huge growth in the energy segment of the business, because even if the solar business doesn't start growing and doesn't turn around, I think energy is going to, the batteries are going to turn into such a big piece of this business, thanks to the mega pack, that we're going to see the energy revenue take off overall. And moving to the gross margin of the energy business, this has been kind of a weak point, uh, just 12% in Q2, kind of been all over the place. And as you can see, here's actually dollars gross profit of the energy business hasn't really been doing much for Tesla. But over the long term, you know, I put out a video a very long time ago saying I think that this could be sort of the AWS 
for Tesla, like AWS has, you know, like Amazon has AWS as its cash cow cloud hosting business in the back end, you know, actually making a lot of money to fuel its consumer business. I think Tesla could do something very similar, selling away its core battery technology for, to the grid and then using those profits to expand its electric vehicle business. And I think this is an underlying trend that is slowly and surely taking off and it's being hidden because of de decreasing solar deployments. But if you look at the battery business growth, even pre mega pack, it has been astounding. So there you have it, folks. Tesla is launching the grid scale mega pack. This is the next evolution of its battery storage technology for grid scale projects. Could be a huge driver of energy revenue going forward in the coming quarters. I think this is a sleeper part of Tesla's business that nobody is paying attention to that is finally gaining a ton of momentum. So, so much exciting stuff happening here under the hood. We're going to find out so much more about this at Battery Investor Day in about six or seven months. So I'm, I'm so, so excited for that, but really pumped just to see today or yesterday, Tesla Tesla coming out with this blog post and officially announcing the mega pack, a huge step forward in that en energy and battery side of the business. This is HyperChange. Would love to know what you think in the comments below about this announcement. Huge shout out to all of our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.